All right, today we are casting for a forelimb prosthesis, a front leg. Usually we'll see a mold like this. Uh, I'm casting on the mold today just for ease to show you guys exactly what to do. We always put the stocking up first. I usually have someone holding the stocking up and I pre-cut the cut strip. What you wanna do is not have this cut strip hanging over the edge. You wanna keep this about an inch or two away from the distal end of the stump so that I get a very good anatomical um, mold of the bottom part of the stump. From there, we're gonna take our casting tape. You usually get two inch or three inch tape. We soak this tape in water for really just a couple seconds. Squeeze all the excess water out. Again, I'm gonna place this cut strip on the cranial portion, the front portion of the leg, keeping the cut strip a little bit away from the bottom of the bottom of the leg. And then we can start to wrap. The angle you see of this mold is actually the angle you wanna cast the leg in. You don't want the cast to be too straight. You really want about a 45 degree angle in the leg. I start just above the elbow and that keeps the cast from slipping. And then I go down. A little trick to getting the distal end of the stump really encapsulated with the mold is to go over the elbow and all the way down doing a longitudinal wrap of the stump and then coming back over and wrapping that around. I am running out of tape, so I'm gonna use two rolls. Two rolls is the normal amount of tape used for a medium to large sized dog that has an amputation like this. Again, I'm going to do that longitudinal wrap and then come around and really encompass the bottom part of the stump. That just gives a much better mold. From there, it's just reinforcing the cast. This is a soft casting material, a flexible casting material. So it's very easy to remove from the pet or patient. You wanna go about three layers thick with this flexible casting tape. If you ever have hard, casting material sent to you, you can do about two layers thickness. From there, I'm just gonna massage, make sure we get a good mold of the leg all the way around. I would suggest using three people to cast, one at the head uh, and also holding the stocking up over the shoulder and the other holding the bottom part of the dog just so they don't move. So again, we want to have this 45 degree angle. We want to have the cut strip away from the bottom portion of the leg. And we want to do a longitudinal wrap when applicable so that we get a really good encompassing mold of the distal end of the stump. From there, you wait about two, three minutes until it dries. And we'll do the, our normal cut tool. We'll go right down the front and cut that off and remove it from the leg. And that's the easiest way and best way to make a mold for a forelimb prosthesis.